Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about assignment operator and increment and decrement operators. So first coming to assignment operator, so the purpose of this assignment operator is uh, it is used to assign the values to the variables. So the most common assignment operator is this one equals to symbol, this, is, this we have to call it as assignment operator. Okay, so here we have various assignment operators in C language. So, what are those means? See here, e assignment plus assignment that is plus equals to minus equals to star equals to division equals to modulo equal to. So, here we can write it as a, here we will use a two operands to perform this operation. Okay, so that means on binary operators only we can perform this assignment operation. So, here see A assignment B that is same as A equals to B. Next plus equals to A plus equals to B we can write like this. So, the meaning for this is it is the same as A equals to A plus B. So, this A equals to A plus B in shortcut we have to write like this A plus equals to B. So, these two are equal. Okay, so by using this plus assignment, we can write this statement, this a equals to a plus b simply as a plus equals to b. Okay, similarly minus equals to that is a minus equals to b, a equal to a minus b, star equals to that means a star equal to b, that is same as a equal to a star b. And next division equals to a by equals to b, this is the same as a equals to a by b modulo equals to a modulo equal to b okay so this is same as a equals to a modulo of b okay the main use of this assignment operator is it is used to assign the values of uh, variables okay so now let me show one example program on this assignment operators so see here here i have taken a variable integer variable a which is assigned with the value of b phi okay a is assigned with the value of 5 and next another variable I have declared a b. So, first here see simple assignment operator that is a b assignment equals to a that is a value is being assigned to b. Now, I am printing the value of b. Similarly, b plus equals to a that is b equal to b plus a. Again, I am printing the value of a. Next, b minus equals to a. Again, I am printing the value of uh, b. Okay. Similarly, so, here in all the cases I am going to print the value of B. So, I have used different assignment operators B assignment A, B plus equals to A, B minus equals to A, B star equals to A, B by equals to A and B modulo equals to A. So, all assignment operators I have used I'm done and I am going to print the value of B. Okay. So, this is my program. So, let me run the program. So, see here. So, this is my output. So, if you see here. So, first initially A is assigned with 5. So, B means A 5 is being stored in B and B equals to 5 in the first printf statement. Next coming to B plus equals to A. That means B equal to B plus A. So, B holds the value of 5 and A also holds the value of 5. So, now B equals to 10. Next B minus equals to A that is B equal to B minus A. So B is holding the value of 10 and A is holding the value of 5. So 10 minus 5 that is now B is the value of B is 5. Okay. Next B star equals to A that is B equal to B star A. B holds the value of 5 and A also holds the value of 5. So 5 into 5 25. So here B equals to 25. Next B by equals to A means B equal to B by A. So, B holds the value of 25 and A holds the value of 10. So, 25 by 5 that is 5. Okay. Next, B modulo equals to A. That is B holds the value of 5 and A also holds the value of 5. The remainder is 0. So, B equals to 0. Okay. So, like this we can perform assignment opera operations by using these assignment operators. So, next coming to increment and decrement operators. So, C programming has uh, both increment and decrement operators to change the value of an operand. So, that operand can be either a variable or any constant value. So, here incrementation means it will increase the value by 1 and decrementation means it will decrease the value by 1. 
So, both these operations, increment and decrement operations, we can perform on unary operators. That means, on a single operand, we can perform these increment and decrement operations. Okay. So, here under incrementation, we have two types, pre-increment and post-increment. Similarly, under decrementation also, we have two types, uh, pre-decrement and post-decrement. Okay. So, first of all, what is meant by pre-increment? Pre means first perform incrementation pre increment means first perform incrementation okay that means here we have to assign it with a plus plus a pre incrementation we have to use this symbol before the variable we have to use this incrementation operation okay so here what happens means the value of the variable is incremented by one and it returns the value okay so, first of all, incrementation, pre-increment. So, first of all, incrementation operation will be done. Then that value will be returned. Okay. So, see here, a equals to 5. Plus plus a means c. Plus plus a means, first of all, perform incrementation. That means, a equal to a plus 1. Then, a equal to 5 plus 1. That is a 6. So that value will be returned to a variable. Okay. So, next coming to post-incrementation. So, first assign the value and then perform incrementation okay that means uh, first of all what happens uh, the original value will be returned okay and then the variable variable is uh, incremented by one that is incrementation post increment post means uh, perform later right so perform later incrementation operation first of all what you have to do you have to return the original value of the variable then perform incrementation that is a post incrementation okay so it should be represented by a plus plus so here i got the variable that i got a equal to 6 so that means a is now holding a value of 6 so now what what happens that value is being written to a and then on later a equal to a plus 1 that is a 7 a equal to a plus 1 means 6 plus 1 that is a 7 okay so, in pre-increment, first of all, we will perform incrementation and then the value will be returned. Here, what happens in post-increment? First, it will return the value and then later it will perform incrementation operation. That is the difference between pre-increment and post-increment. Similarly, we have decrementation operation also, right? So, in decrementation also, the same will be returned. That, that means that the same process will be taken. But here, in incrementation, we are going to increase the value by 1. In decrementation, the value will be decreased by 1. So, pre-decrement, that means first decrement the value of variable by 1 and then return the value. Okay. Post-decrement means first of all, return the original value to the variable. Okay. And then decrement the value by 1. So, these are the various increment and decrement operators. Okay. So, let me show an example program on this so see here here i am i have taken a variable a okay which is initializer with a value of 5 so first of all here i am performing pre incrementation and i am perform and i am printing the value of a similarly post incrementation and i am displaying the value of a next to pre decrementation okay so I am I am displaying the value of a and post decrementation I am displaying the value of a so this is my program so let me run the code see here so see here a equals to 6 a equal to 7 a equals to 6 a equal to 5 okay so these are my values after performing pre incrementation post incrementation pre decrementation and post decrementation okay so these are the various increment and decrement operations in c language so all these will be performed only on unary operators that means that these can be performed these operations we have to perform only on single operand okay so that's about increment and decrement operators in c language thank you